Imagine a place where Earth's energy converges into a swirling current, radiating such intense power it can affect your personal energy field. Is it a figment of imagination? These places are known as energy vortexes or vortices. Not your ordinary tourist destinations, these are revered as sacred spaces known for their immense concentrated energy, helping aid in spiritual journeys, harnessing energy from the ground, and as markers from ancient civilizations. Energy vortexes are considered to be intersections of ley lines, cracks where energy is coming up more from the center of Earth than other places. Vortexes are referred to as having energy that has an inflow or outflow, masculine or feminine, electromagnetic curved or upward spiral flow to them. Many people report experiencing a heightened sense of spiritual awareness, a profound connection to Earth and intense healing. They mention being able to tap into the land easier and with more depth and intention, helping excel people's spiritual journeys. In the late 1970s and early 80s, Sedona, Arizona became a beacon for spiritual and psychic seekers after learning of four now famous locations throughout the land from books published by New Age psychics. Throughout the world, however, vortexes exist in several locations. Every destination attracts thousands of tourists a year with its unique history and captivating vibrations. One of the most recognized of these is Stonehenge, a historic circle of standing stones in England. It is said that this region has multiple lay locations all across the island. Across the ocean, nestled amidst the majestic peaks of Mount Shasta in California, energy vortexes are believed to facilitate spiritual growth and healing. Mount Shasta straddles the territories of five Native American tribes, each having numerous myths and traditions associated with it. The Wintu tribe trace their people's origin back to a sacred spring on the mountain moving to Africa, the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. With its precise alignment to Orion's belt, it is no surprise that the pyramid was purposefully built on a powerful energy vortex. On the opposite side of the continent, the serene view of Table Mountain in South Africa is also known as a vortex site. With its flat-topped mountain overlooking the city of Cape Town, this site is of significant spiritual importance to the indigenous Khoi and San peoples who called Table Mountain Horikwaga, or Mountain in the Sea. Back in the United States, in the heart of Arizona's Red Rock Country, Sedona boasts multiple energy vortexes, each with its unique characteristics and effects on the body's energy. These vortexes have become famous among spiritual seekers and tourists alike. Later in the video, we learn about the seven major chakra points of the Earth herself, representing the planet's energy centers. Much like the energy centers in the human body, the Earth is considered to contain seven chakras of its own, located around the globe. Each of these sites draws seekers, pilgrims, and healers from all corners of the Earth, all seeking restoration, rejuvenation, and a deeper connection with higher energies. As you journey through these sites, Learn about the theories, the ancient beliefs, and the modern interpretations of these vortexes. Experience their power, their mystery, and their ability to inspire and transform. This voyage promises to be a journey not just across the globe, but also a journey into the self, where you'll learn how people connect more deeply with the Earth's energy. Vortexes are areas with concentrated energy, but energy is all around us. Learn about this ancient phenomenon that exists on this beautiful Earth. Energy vortexes can be found all throughout the world, from the ancient pyramids of Giza to the vast landscape of Mount Shasta. These vortexes, special locations where ley lines intersect, seem to always have been known for their concentrated positive energy. Here are 10 locations around the world that are known to contain vortexes. We begin in Australia at the awe-inspiring Uluru Mountain. Also known as Ayers Rock, this gigantic sandstone monolith is located in the heart of the Northern Territory. Visitors who reach the heart of the Australian outback often report feeling a deep connection to the Earth and its energy. Aboriginal people see this place for their concept of dream time and home to the spirit of the rainbow serpent. It's said that if you take a rock from the area, you will encounter misfortune. Moving across the Atlantic, our next stop is Taos, New Mexico, where El Nogal Trailhead rides along the base of the Sangre de Cristo mountain range. 
This area, as well as Chaco Canyon in New Mexico, are known areas of vortexes. Many believe these vortexes cleanse their spirit, balance their mind, and help foster a sense of harmony within their beings. Across the state is the stunning scenery that is Sedona, Arizona. Sedona is well known for its eye-catching red sandstone formations, but also for being the hub for energy vortexes. Every year, numerous visitors, drawn by stories of spiritual transformation, flock here to absorb the unique energies. Journeying further south, we find ourselves in the sacred lands of Peru, home to the magnificent Machu Picchu. Situated high in the Andes, this ancient city is another significant energy vortex. The Earth's energy here is palpable, virtually throbbing beneath your feet, inviting introspection and spiritual awakening. Taking a leap across oceans, our voyage leads us to Table Mountain in South Africa. Known as the Watcher of the South, this flat-topped mountain houses a vortex of potent energies. Climbers who brave its slopes often report an enhanced connection to the divine, feeling a sense of immense peace and tranquility. We then traverse the desert to the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt, a majestic monument and one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. This area was once a land full of spiritual culture. It is said that the pyramid connects individuals to the timeless wisdom of the ancients, offering a glimpse into a past rich in spiritual knowledge. We then set sail for the enigmatic island of Esvedra in Spain. Shrouded in legends and myths, this rocky island is a vortex of concentrated positive energy. It offers a spiritual experience unlike any other, connecting visitors to the Earth's energy in a profound, unforgettable way. Next, we journey to the mystical Mount Shasta in California. This dormant volcano, with its snow-capped peaks and verdant surroundings, serves as a spiritual hub. It's believed to radiate powerful energies that promote self-discovery and healing, allowing individuals to delve deep into their subconscious and emerge renewed. Our expedition then leads us to the sun-kissed shores of Maui, home to Haleakala, the House of the Sun. This massive volcano sits at 10,000 feet. Most of the mountain is underwater, its full height reaching almost 20,000 feet. It's believed to be one of the most beautiful sunrises you'll ever see. Finally, Glastonbury Tor, nestled on a hill in Somerset, England. This prehistoric monument, Tor, is a local word of Celtic origin, meaning conical hill. Situated in the heart of the Summerlin Meadows is the striking location of the Tor. The Lord of the Underworld, Gwyn Ap Nudd, the Fairy King, King Arthur, and the Isle of Avalon are all connected to Glastonbury Tor. Each location has reported to create a renewed sense of purpose and a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of all life to the people who visit. These vortexes are doors to spiritual development and self-discovery, not merely physical features. They serve as evidence that the world we live in is more than just a physical place. It is a living, breathing entity that pulsates with vitality. So, whether you're a spiritual seeker or a curious explorer, these vortexes offer a unique journey into the heart of the Earth's energy. Now let's investigate the seven main energy vortexes found in the red rock formations of Sedona, Arizona. These vortexes are more than just beautiful sights. They are the heart and soul of Sedona. These are distinct energy fields, each providing a unique form of energy that leaves a profound impression on visitors. They are a magnet for spiritual seekers and energy enthusiasts alike, nestled amid the breathtaking beauty of Sedona. They offer a serene retreat from the hustle and bustle of life, allowing individuals to reconnect with their inner selves and the universe at large. We begin by talking about Cathedral Rock. Native Americans consider Cathedral Rock to be the birthplace of humankind. It is one of the most well-known monuments and tourist attractions in Sedona, standing roughly 300 feet tall. A hike on the Cathedral Rock Trail offers bucket list-worthy beauty, and the specific location of the vortex is said to be at the junction of Cathedral Rock and Oak Creek. It is also the most photographed red rock formation, often found on postcards and calendars. The vortex energy of this area is said to be feminine, providing feelings of softness, receptiveness, and compassion. Moving forward, we encounter the Airport Mesa Vortex. This vortex is all about masculine energy, fostering self-confidence and empowerment. 
Here, this masculine energy provides a higher perspective and a connection with creation. It's also a beautiful place to watch the sunset. The airport vortex trailhead is located half a mile from airport road and slightly over a mile outside of Sedona. There's a shorter loop available for the hike that leads straight to the vortex site at a smaller mesa within the red rock formation. During the walk, you may see small aircraft taking off and landing near you, which can add to the theme. Next, we traverse to the Bell Rock Vortex. This vortex is a powerhouse of intense energy that involves both masculine and feminine aspects. It promotes balance and emotional awareness. Bell Rock is one of Sedona's most well-known meditation sites. Many people consider it to be an upflow area, also referred to as electric or masculine, which is ideal for peace and approaching challenges from a spiritual standpoint. For decades, seekers from around the world have visited Bell Rock for contemplative reflection and inspiration. Bell Rock's rich history began six centuries ago with the Yavapai Indians, whose hunter-gatherer ancestors roamed the region and believed the red rocks represented the blood and bodies of giant monsters. According to tradition, the shaman hero Skatakamcha defeated the beasts, including a gigantic bird that perched on a peak, which some refer to as Bell Rock. Our journey continues as we venture to the Boynton Canyon Kachina Vortex. This vortex offers balanced energies that enhance relationships and spiritual well-being. The word Kachina means spirit father, and the Kachina woman rock is a reference to Hopi ceremonies. The rock is perched above Boynton Canyon's trailhead, a cave sites in the middle of the rock known as the womb. The fifth vortex, the Chapel of the Holy Cross Vortex, is considered the strongest among the seven. This vortex fosters inspiration, joy, and a profound connection to spirit. Marguerite Brunswick Staud, a devoted disciple of Frank Lloyd Wright, constructed the chapel in 1956. The chapel was originally intended to be constructed in Budapest, Hungary, but the impending start of World War II caused the project to be abandoned. Next, we have the Schnebli Hill Vortex. This vortex provides a quiet place for spiritual cleansing and alignment. The trail there requires an off-road vehicle and is a long hike, but leads to one of the highest plateaus in Sedona. It can align your energies and cleanse your spirit. This is a place of reflection and introspection where you can make peace and chart a course for your future. Our final destination is the Courthouse Butte Vortex. There is a sensation of mystery, adventure, and history about this vortex location. Many visitors report having undergone deep spiritual changes by passing through portals located within the rock. It is among one of Sedona's most potent forces for spiritual and personal development is the area. Each of these vortexes is distinct in energy and atmosphere, providing visitors with a life-changing experience. They are doors to spiritual development and self-discovery beyond mere geographical locations. They offer a deep connection to the Earth's energy, a connection that many people spend their entire lives seeking. So whether you're a spiritual seeker or simply someone curious about the unseen energies of the world, the vortexes of Sedona are a must visit. They promise an unparalleled experience of spiritual growth and connection. Just as the human body has seven chakras, so does our Mother Earth, with each spot offering unique healing and spiritual benefits. Throughout the ages, human beings have been mysteriously attracted to certain regions worldwide. These aren't merely picturesque views or historical milestones. These are our world's energetic epicenters, the pulse points of Earth's life force, the seven primary chakra points. While there are vortexes all over Earth, Earth's chakra points are specifically the most powerful of the energy vortexes. They emit a potent spiritual resonance that has drawn seekers of truth, wisdom, and healing from every corner of the Earth. The first chakra we encounter is the root chakra, situated in the beautiful landscape of Mount Shasta, California. This chakra serves as the base the starting point from where the planet's energy starts its extraordinary journey. It's akin to the starting point in a marathon race, where energy is accumulated, stocked up, ready for a sprint across the globe. Travelers visiting the mountain are rumored to experience an intense grounding effect, forming a deep connection to the Earth's primitive energy. It invokes a sense of peaceful calm, like sitting under a giant tree, deeply rooted in the ground and utterly connected with Mother Earth. 
Then we have the Sacral Chakra, located in the high altitude Andes at Lake Titicaca, on the border of Peru and Bolivia. This chakra is the embodiment of creativity, emotional fluidity, and passion. Legend has it that the energy present here could aid in unlocking your creative potential. A temple was discovered beneath the surface of Lake Titicaca, just off the shore of Copacabana in Bolivia. There appears to be the remains of an underwater city beside the temple as well. The buildings date from 1,000 to 1,500 years ago. Journeying on, we find ourselves at the Solar Plexus Chakra, situated at Uluru and the Majestic Olgas in Australia. This chakra represents personal power, self-assurance and confidence. It is the lifeblood that gives all living things their energy. When balanced, the solar plexus provides insight, decisiveness, and a sense of personal power. It also maintains the vitality of the Earth and all living species. The planet's heart chakra is formed in part by Stonehenge, which also includes Somerset, Shaftesbury, and Dorset. In particular, Stonehenge is regarded as the region's epicenter of energy. The Holy Grail can be found in Glastonbury, and the Sacred Spear of Purpose can be found in Shaftesbury. When the heart chakra is balanced, you are able to love yourself and others while also showing compassion for those around you. The Female Dragon Leyline also connects Uluru to Stonehenge. When the heart chakra is balanced, it's like a healing balm for the soul, soothing away the pains of the world and replacing them with love and compassion. Moving on to Egypt, we discover the throat chakra at the Mount of Olives and the famous Great Pyramids of Giza. Truth, expression, and communication are represented by this chakra. Similar to a cosmic megaphone, it helps guests by enhancing their inner voice of wisdom and truth. Both these locations are considered to be the voice of the Earth. The Great Pyramid is the oldest structure on our planet. When your throat chakra is balanced, you are able to speak your truth with immense clarity. Returning to England, we discover the Third Eye Chakra at Glastonbury. This chakra is associated with intuition, wisdom, knowledge, and spiritual awareness. It's akin to a spiritual telescope, a crystal clear vision of the unseen realms and deeper truths. The exact point for this chakra on Earth moves one twelve of the way around the planet at the dawn of every new age. Last, we reach the Crown Chakra, found at Mount Kailash in Tibet. This is the chakra of enlightenment, spiritual connection, and divine wisdom also known to house the throne of Lord Shiva. Visiting this location is like plugging into into the cosmic internet, establishing a direct link to higher consciousness, divine wisdom, and the universe's eternal truths. The mountain cannot be summited and is revered by both Tibetan and Buddhist cultures. An old tale mentions two hikers from the Netherlands who climbed the mountain, only to come back having aged decades in body and face. These Earth chakras are not just geographical locations. They're the pulse points of our planet's life force. Each place holds unique healing and spiritual advantages, pulling seekers from worldwide who seek restoration, connection, and higher energies. People from all over the world travel to every one of these destinations to align themselves with the energy of the Earth. In conclusion, exploring the mysterious phenomena of vortexes around the world offers a fascinating journey into the Earth's energetic landscape and our personal spiritual journeys. From ancient traditions to modern interpretations, these swirling centers of energy captivate the imagination and draw seekers from all corners of the globe. By delving into the seven Earth chakra locations and the seven vortex sites in Sedona, Arizona, we've uncovered a rich tapestry of spiritual significance and geological wonder. Whether you're drawn to the serene tranquility of sacred sites or intrigued by the scientific mysteries behind these natural phenomena, the exploration of vortexes invites us to deepen our connection with the Earth and the unseen forces that shape our world. These powerful energetic centers serve as reminders of the interconnectedness of all things and the profound influence of Earth's natural energies on our lives. Whether you're planning your next adventure to one of these mystical locations or simply seeking to incorporate their wisdom into your spiritual practice, the exploration of vortexes offers a transformative journey of discovery and enlightenment. 
Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey into vortexes, ley lines, and the unseen forces that shape our world. We've just scratched the surface of what lies beyond our understanding. There are countless other mysteries waiting to be unraveled, countless other journeys waiting to be embarked upon. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Let us know about your experiences with vortexes and ley lines. Have you ever visited Sedona? What happened there? Share your thoughts and journeys. Thank you all for being a part of Universe Unraveled, as I just hit 200 subscribers. Stay tuned for more videos. Have a great week.